So is it possible to lose weight if you have hypothyroid or Hashimoto's? Yes, I am here to tell you that yes, it is possible. Stay tuned. Um, I was diagnosed with hypothyroid disease in my early 20s, right after the birth of my first child. Um, it was pretty severe. I had to go pretty heavy on Synthroid. My thyroid was really low and I was really sick. Um, fast forward, you know, about 20 years later, you know, I had seen just regular doctors and they always just gave me Synthroid. So in the past five years, I really started researching um, my conditions and learning all about it and finding out all the medical you know, information I could find. And so I started to search for a doctor or a nurse practitioner that prescribed desiccated thyroid. Um, so I found found her and in my town there's not a lot of options so it was it was quite the search to find her um, one of the tips is you can call your pharmacies and find and ask them for the names of doctors that prescribe desiccated thyroid and you can then contact those doctors and try to get in to see them that's one trick to to getting really good care if you have thyroid disease um, so I found her and she was amazing. She, I just was in tears when I left because for 20 years, I've been, you know, just going in circles, saying the same things over and over to doctors. They, they didn't listen. They didn't really seem to care. The only thing they knew to do was check your T4 and give you Synthroid. That's it. So I went to see her and she immediately said, yeah, you need to be on desiccated thyroid and um, you're probably not converting your T4 to T3 and you know that's why you're not feeling any better. And the weight's still going on and you're still feeling the symptoms of hypothyroid. So we ran a, bu a bunch of blood work and sure enough, my, um, my antibodies came out really high and she said that is indicative of Hashimoto's. So I may or may not have been struggling with Hashimoto's clear back into my early 20s because I, my weight yo-yoed like this and that's very symptomatic of Hashimoto's. You, you can go hyper where you're, increased, you're producing too much thyroid and that's when you get those, you know, kind of the bulgy eyes and um, people lose dramatic weight um, really fast. Um, they feel really jittery all the time. Um, or you could go, and, and some people even on hyper gain weight. It's just, it's never, it's just an, a complete imbalance of your metabolism when this happens. But for most people, if you're hyper, they can lose a lot of weight. If you're hypo, that means you're not producing enough thyroid hormones, um, which is what my case was. But I think I would, sh every once in a while I would shift into hyper, maybe just even borderline, and then I would lose the weight. And then I would go back down and pile on 40 pounds. 40 pounds came on and off for 20 years. And it was horrible. So, you know, I got, I met with this nurse practitioner and she was wonderful. She tested my blood. We found out I was severely low in vitamin D. I was severely low in B12s. Um, I was still not being treated correctly for my thyroid. So we really hammered it out. We worked on all those numbers and I felt a lot better. Um, but I didn't really address my diet. I continued to eat pretty much the sad diet and you know I would try to restrict calories I would try to eat healthy here and there but I never really focused on what I was putting in my body so fast forward now I'm 45 and I definitely um, have you know years or young years are not on my side I you know I'm definitely getting up there in age so it's harder and harder to lose weight the older you get so I just decided that 
I have to really take a dive into this way of eating because I've done it before over the years. I've done it and I lost the weight, but I always gained it back because I just didn't stay committed. So this time around, I stayed committed for three solid months and I have lost 23.6 pounds. So um, I'm feeling amazing. Um, I think that's one of the biggest um, benefits to this diet. If you have hypothyroid disease or Hashimoto's, you are going to feel the effects um, almost immediately, probably by day two or three, um, you're going to be feeling amazing. So how did I do it? Well, I ate very whole foods. I ate healthy meats. I tried to get grass fed whenever I could. Um, I ate lots of vegetables, lots of greens, you know, your spinach, your kale, um, all the little healthy green salads. I had salads every day, um, the healthy kind. And I had, you know, plenty of vegetables. I, that was one of the commitments I made this time around was to, to eat more whole foods and more healthy foods. So for the first month straight, that's all I did. I didn't, you know, I tried to stay away from dairy. I had it here and there, but I know that dairy can create problems for, you know, for us, especially with hypothyroid or Hashimoto's. So I tried to stay away from it. I reduced the amount that I was eating, but I still had some. I had cream in my coffee um, and I had the occasional sprinkling of cheese, but definitely not as much as I used to. So I reduced a lot of the inflammation that was going on in my body and I immediately felt the effects of that. So what it boils down to is inflammation. If your body has inflammation, you're not going to lose weight. So you have to reduce that before you're going to see those results. But the great thing about the ketogenic diet, just by following the plan, that's what it will do. It's going to reduce the inflammation in your body just by the natural way of what you're eating. You're eating whole foods, you're eating healthy vegetables, healthy greens. From those greens, you're getting tons of minerals and nutrients and vitamins and things that you most likely weren't getting before. So by eliminating those foods that create inflammation, like sugar and flour and carbs and breads, and all of those types of foods, you're gonna immediately feel better. One of the things I wanted to show you is that when you have hypothyroid disease or Hashimoto's or any disease really for that matter, sometimes you just have to be your own health advocate and you have to take things into your own hands. So one of the things I did, I made a binder and I would print information out and I would put information in, in here that I would find online, um, medical you know, notes or, or um, medical studies or things like that that show new findings with you know, um, the complications I was having. Um, so I would keep stuff like that in here. And when I would go see my nurse practitioner, I would bring up these things. And, she was always really open and she told me that I was one of the only patients that she's ever had that, that knew so much about, um, you know, thyroid and, um, blood tests and all of that. So I have notes in here about ferritin and levels and what they should be, what's too high, what's too low. Um, I have, let's see, um, a lot of that. And then I have, um, pages of notes on T3, the circadian T3 method, and how to treat low cortisol levels, which I went through testing for low cortisol, and I was a little low, so I went through that. Vitamin D testing. Vitamin D is so crucial when you have low thyroid functioning. You know, it's a hormone. You need everything to be at a certain level to work together so you can lose weight. We need to increase our vitamin D levels and we need to do the research and be our own advocate and learn what it is doing to our bodies. So I learned a lot about vitamin D, um, optimal lab values, how to interpret your results. I have 
a lot of information printed out here so that when I'm looking at my results, I can refer to this and go, oh, okay, this is what I should be, and this is what the test is saying. So I don't just rely on doctors to tell me your lab results came back normal, everything's fine. Like, I'm like, I need to see them. I need to physically see those results and I need to be able to understand what it says and read it. So I started doing that. I started requesting copies of all of my results and I have them all here. All these pink little notes are all the dates of all my lab blood work that I have done over probably the past five years. Let's see, oh, back in 2013 is how far back I have been tracking. I think it goes back even further than that. But yeah, I've just been tracking my results and learning about what they mean. So in here I also have, when I was tested for the MTHFR um, mutation um, gene, and I have that test in here and it tells me um, the, gen the genotype that I have is the C677T and the A1298C. So there's different types of this gene mutation. And there's, there's actually groups on Facebook that you can join based on which type you are. And then you'll get a lot more information um, off of those groups of what types of steps you might want to take to ensure that you ha are healthy. You know, I like to understand it's my body it's my health and we should be very involved we should be very informed so don't be afraid to ask for your test results demand a copy and don't don't let up until you have it um, you're paying for it so you should have the copies in hand and start keeping them in a in a folder and start doing your own research and you're gonna find a lot of information that your doctors are not telling you. It's not that they don't want to. Some people don't want all that information, but it's there and you do need, you, you should know, you know, the information. So that's another tip I wanted to pass along. Get a binder, get yourself informed and be your own advocate. Definitely give the ketogenic diet a fair shot at helping you feel better and come along with me on my journey to health and you'll feel better. If any of you struggle with hypothyroid disease or Hashimoto's um, and you have questions, feel free to message me or comment. Um, you can send me an email. I have it listed um, under my about me section. Um, feel free to reach out and I will do my best to um, share my experience with you of what's worked for me and what hasn't. Um, also, don't forget to check out my video, insert the video here, um, and that video is on supplements and what type of supplements have helped me tremendously um, for my thyroid. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best in your health. We'll see you soon.